Hi and welcome to Chicken Richard Cooking's Pea and Ham Soup Cooked in the Ninja Foodie. The ingredients are in the recipe box below. It is so simple to do and it's a very economical dish. I bought a picnic ham or a shoulder ham and it's very, very cheap to buy. You can store it in a calico bag, a ham bag, which you rinse out daily or every second day with a little bit of vinegar and water. And this will keep actually for weeks. The bonus of buying that is at the end of the meal, and there is still a lot of ham on there, the reason I haven't taken it off because it's going in the soup, there's a lot of flavour in that bone. Okay, so what we're going to do with the Ninja Foodie is add all of our ingredients and I'll show you what to do with the ham. The ingredients that I am using, but not limited to, are sweet potato, carrot, potato, two cloves of garlic, some celery and some onion. That goes straight into the Ninja Foodie all at once. I leave the celery leaves on there because there's lots of flavour in those. And these are the split peas that you can buy. They come in a packet like so in the supermarket. They'll keep for ages. I think this particular bag has got a two year expiry date. So we're throwing in about a cup full of the split peas, some freshly cracked pepper. Now the ham is salty, depending on how salty your ham is to how much salt you might like to add as well. So we've just got some pepper here. Go easy on this if you're giving it to children. The peas will smoosh right down as for the vegetables. I'm leaving the rind on that ham because that has got oodles of flavour in it. But what I am going to do is cut diamonds into it with a very sharp knife. Now, this will actually just soften up, become really quite gelatinous and fall off in one big piece, which means that someone's going to get a big heap in their bowl and someone's going to get nothing. So if you cut into it down to the bone, Right down, you can't cut your fingers here because the bone's protecting them. Doesn't matter if any little pieces fall off because they're going in anyway. And then on an angle. And what will happen is, as these soften up and loosen off, they'll fall into the soup and add even more flavour. And the meat is always sweetest next to the bone anyway, and that will add lots of flavour too. The skin, having been smoked, is absolutely total flavour bomb. And there'll be big chunks, little chunks. There'll be lots and lots of flavor being released from that as well. Now I'm using my own homemade chicken stock. You could use beef, lamb, vegetable if you like, stock. Mine doesn't have any uh, salt in it. So if you're using a sodium one or a low sodium one, that also is going to affect how much salt you're going to need in this dish. So, and you can see that sort of all been opened out a bit like a pineapple. And that goes in on top of our vegetables with a litre of our homemade chicken stock. So all in together with our ham bone. Okay, just mix it all around, give it a good stir, tip it over. Now you can add any herbs that you like as well. I'll probably be popping some parsley in at the last minute. On with our pressure cooker lid, around to pressure. Okay, power on, pressure cooker. 30 minutes on high. Start. Now that won't start to count the 30 minutes on the timer until it has reached pressure. At that point, the timer will start to count down. In the meantime, this little wheel here is letting you know that it's coming up to pressure and heating. Okay, I told you I was gonna give you another serving suggestion. We've just got our soup that we've had at lunch. It's cold at the moment. We're just going to Get some of our French toast, French bread. Spread some melted salted butter on that. We just get some grated cheese. Sprinkle it all over the top of our bread, nice and thick, okay? And then sit it on top of our soup, like so. Plenty on. And you can do this with French onion soup as well. Pop that in there like so. And then turn the grill function on for 10 minutes. And that will toast that cheese to golden bubbly brown and serve it with your soup okay 10 minutes later and this is what you should have it's bubbly crisp and golden well melted can your pressure cooker do that i doubt it the ninja foodie cooks everything all in one pot and they even have some crusty cheesy croutons on top as well courtesy of the griller in the top of the lid i hope you enjoyed this alternative presentation of our pea and ham soup cooked in the ninja foodie if you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas just check out our cheeky richer cooking channel and don't forget to please subscribe and do come back and visit us again soon we've got so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos thank you very much for watching have a great day